some of those issues that uh, no doubt will continue to come up will be some of the land uh, issues and, and one of these conversations and topics that we've heard for some time now and will no doubt continue to gain more momentum is uh, the military leases on some of these areas. Um, I know that you can't sp speak specifically to what's happening on, on these, in these conversations Doug, or, or where things are at, but I'm wondering how the conversations that you're having now uh, through this effort and through this movement uh, is potentially helping in those future conversations as uh, you know, we look at what the future looks like with Hawaii's role uh, and, and the military's relationship moving forward and, and some of the discussions of how this new partnership and relationship moves forward with these lands. Uh, how do you think that this will be impacted by the work being done here? I would say generally positively impacted. Uh, again, if it was just our hui, you know, chatting once a month and going, hey, we, we need to fix some of these problems, I, I might not feel as confident. But because it's kind of gotten bigger and broader interest, uh, I think there are opportunities uh, and uh, there's just a different way of, of senior people looking at the problem, I think, than, than existed, maybe pre-Red Hill. Um, and there's, there's two offices that, have had, that are in the process of being set up. One has already been set up. Uh, it's called the Military and Community Relations Office at the state. And that's to help the state work with the military. Uh, additionally, the Office of Secretary of Defense, uh, which was, you know, part of the group that was there for the convening uh, of a while back, I think it was in May, is setting up a liaison office so that people know who to go to. One of our challenges always is, you know, at Marine Corps Base Hawaii, we have multiple installations across Oahu. We have to deal with different people clearly in Kolapoko than we do over in Eva Beach. Uh, and so knowing who it is that you need to talk to can be challenging. And I think these offices are really going to help with that because we often get the same thing. It's like, well, we talk to somebody and then next week they're gone. There's a change of command. And so now we have to start all over again. <clears throat> I think with the setup of these offices, it's going to really help some of that uh, ability to, to get to the right people to have these conversations. I'm interested in your, as you're having these conversations, um, what you wish people understood about the military and its role in Hawaii. I think one of the things that Mehana said is, you know, you live here and you're part of our community. And, and, and I'm curious, you know, what do you wish there was deeper understanding on the side of the people, you know, Kamaina who are here? And, you know. I would say first and foremost, uh, you know, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines that, that come to Hawaii are sent here for a purpose. Uh, they don't choose to come here. Many of them love it because it's a beautiful place, but they come here with the thought in mind that they're here to defend people. Uh, and I think often what they may lack in understanding of the culture, uh, they certainly make up for in the passion that they have uh, to try to be good servants to the people here. And so I think if I were to say one thing, it's, it's that, that they're here to serve um, and we just need to do a better job on our side, I think, of early on when they get here, enculturating them into what's important in Hawaii so that they can better interact with the community. Because I think that's where sometimes we, we run afoul and, and, and we can do better. Uh, I Mehana, for you, was there ever uh, anything that surprised you in these conversations about the military that maybe changed your perspective, that maybe you kind of knew or, or, or didn't necessarily know, um, but, but if there was any moment or any conversation or anything that was shared that made you think some, something different? Uh, just that they were um, the people we were having conversation with in both our smaller group and, and when the, the DOD came to Hawaii is that um, there's a, a lot of things that are kind of just like how Doug alluded to, that they don't know, that they don't know um, about you know, um, Hawaii as a whole, uh, Hawaii's people, Hawaii's culture, the, the role that history has played, right? A lot of these, um, a lot of leadership now um, in different places was an active military during Kaho'olawe, right? Um, weren't around um, when uh, Makua was, you know, uh, then taken over for life fire training or Pohakuloa, yeah. They don't understand the, the history of place enough um, to see why are these people um, feeling this way about us, 
right? They, they, that they didn't know, that they didn't know that they needed to be educated. So that was kind of shocking because I had just assumed that, you know, they'd, they'd have a brief, you know, somewhere um, that would have explained that and prepared them for that kind of, of, of conflict, potential conflict, you know, within the community. But also um, it, it was, it, um, I guess, good to see that they're struggling through trying to figure out things too. Okay, so so most people wouldn't consider that a good thing, right? Um, but I, I did, because I'm a process person, so I can appreciate when people are trying to um, figure out how to do things um, and, and do things right, right? And do things for the right purpose, right? When they're, they're moving through that and we can actively see that there's learning, there's engaging, there's different um, behaviors showing up. Then um, yeah, we. I mean, we. It's it's a it's a larger discussion uh, here in Hawaii about what is uh, what is needed and what well-being means for Hawaii. That's that's a that's a big discussion, and people will have sometimes very short answers for that. Yeah, just do this. Just tell the military to get out of Hawaii, or you know, just do this. Right. Um, you know, sue this people, do that. On the everyday, on the level of complexity that we're all trying to deal with, um, I think this kind of process allows us to step through that. Uh, again, as, as people who are concerned about where we're at to impact the decisions that are made by people who are 5,000 miles away um, in a whole other end of the earth um, making decisions about Hawaii.